Hey guys, welcome back. Now in the previous tutorial, we went over design options, how to set them up, accessing the design options menu from the Manage tab, what your primary design option is, how to set it, how it differs from the subordinate design options. So now, what I want to do is set up a sheet and show both of my design options. Before I do that though, I'm going to go over to my level and I'm going to duplicate it. I'll duplicate with detailing, and that'll leave me with level 1 and level 1 copy. And I'll rename level 1 to level 1 option 1. Alright. And then I will go into my copy, and I'll rename that level 1 option 2. Alright, so now that we've got them named, I'm going to create a new sheet. Now remember, to create a sheet, just scroll down in the project browser, right-click on Sheets, select New Sheet, and then choose which one you want. So for this example, I'm using an A1 metric title block. Now you can always find another one if you want to, use one that you have. You could use the one in the sample. This is just to show you the process. But for now, I'm just going to drag both options onto the title block. Oh, and it already looks like that one's on A102, so I'll go into the Plans sheet and delete those. Alright, so now I'll go back to my title block, and I will scroll back up, and when I drag both of these options onto the sheet, you'll see side by side option 1 and option 2. Now for our purposes here, I'm going to make these just a little bit smaller, so that they're a bit easier to see. Hmm, actually that makes it a little bit too hard to read. Um. Okay, I'll actually keep the sizes the same, that way it's easier to read and a bit cleaner. And I'll just adjust their position so one is on top of the other. Alright, now something you may notice here. Even though these are drawn from two separate views, and they're called Level 1, Option 1, and Option 2, they look identical. They're both showing the same option. Now, one thing that you'll notice you can do is if I go back to my design options, right now design option 2 is primary, but if I make option 1 primary, then it changes both of them. But that still isn't what we want. I want one to show one option, and the other to show the other option. Well, in order to solve this problem, we'll go into our visual graphics settings. Now that's something you should be familiar with by now. Those are the settings that control how a particular view appears. And this is also true for design options. So go ahead and click into option 1. Uh, if you're using older versions of Revit, you may have to select Activate View as well. And then I will go to the View tab and select Visibility Graphics. So when you open it up, you'll see all the different tabs and categories we've gone through in previous courses. Model, Annotation, etc. But what I want you to look at this time is the Design Options tab. Under that tab, you'll see our Option Set Expansion and it's set to automatic. And this makes sense. If we go back into our design options window, you can see we called our option set expansion. As for the automatic part, what that means is that your view is automatically defaulting to the primary design option. So if we go back to our visibility graphics overrides and click on automatic, we can choose which design option to go with. Our selected view will now only be designated as option one. So now, if we go back into our Design Options menu and set Option 2 as primary, well, only the bottom view changes. And again, that's because the bottom view is still set to Automatic for Design Options, while the top view has been manually changed to only show Option 1, which again, we were able to set by going into the Visibility Graphics settings. Now when it comes to this sort of situation, where I have something specific in mind, I don't like to leave it to the whims of the computer. So I'm going to use the VG keyboard command to go back to Visibility Graphics, and I'll designate this bottom view as Option 2. The reason for that is because if we make any sort of other design option, and then designate that as primary, it's going to change that bottom view, which would cause our sheet to no longer display the information we want. But now that I've set that view to Option 2 under Visibility Graphics, we don't have to worry about that. So that's one setting that you're really going to have to understand as you begin to work with design options. 
Now, another thing to bear in mind is that these design options don't just affect what we do in our plans and sections and elevations and all those other aspects of our model, but they'll also impact scheduling. So in the next lesson, we'll go over schedules, how to edit them, and how to get them to work with design options. I'll see you there.